All right, guys, let's talk about how we're going to enter these answers into delta math. All right, so let's say this was my original equation. I factored it out to be this. This highest exponent is the number of answers that there are. Okay, so this factors out, set it equal to zero. So I have three factors, x, 9x minus 8, and x squared plus 49 equals zero. So I take my first factor, set that equal to zero. That's one of my answers. Take my second factor, set that equal to zero. That's one of my answers. You have to solve that. Okay. Then take my third factor, set that equal to zero. Solve that. X square root of both sides. Square root of negative 49 is plus or minus 7i. Okay, so here are my four answers. One, two, three, four answers, okay? So now we're going to come down here. I'm going to hit delta math. I'm going to show you how to put the answers in. All right, so we have one box for answers, but we have three answers we have to put in, which were, right, 0, 8 ninths, and plus or minus 7i. Okay? So we're going to go, one of my answers is 0. Now I'm going to hit the um, comma button, and when I hit the comma button, it pops up a second answer. All right, now I'm going to put in my answer of 8 ninths. So I'm just going to do 8, and then the uh, forward slash, and then 9. Okay? Now I can hit comma again to get me another answer, or I can hit the plus over here opens up another box now I have plus or minus 7i so I can type in 7i open up another box negative 7i and I can submit that okay or what I, and I just hit the minus to lower the lower the number of boxes or I could have just done plus or minus and that takes care of those answers so let's see how we did do I want to submit this Yes. Okay. They didn't have to be in that order. They could have been in any order, and it will uh, set it up for you. So I could have put it in like this. I could have wrote it out like this. This is what I did. Let's go to the next problem. Okay. So negative x equals 0, so that answer is going to be 0. 64x squared minus... 49. So I'm going to have to factor that guy out, right? So that's 8x minus 7, 8x plus 7. Set them both equal to 0. So my one answer is going to be 7 eighths. My other answer is going to be negative 7 eighths. Okay. Then I got x squared plus 100 equals 0. Set that equal to 0. x squared equals negative 100. Square root of negative 100 plus or minus 7i plus or I'm sorry plus or minus 10i plus or minus 10i. Or I could have done two different boxes. I could have put these in one box but use the plus or minus. Okay. If I have an answer, I know this is zero, but if I have an answer, let's say of three root two, I do three, hit the square root button, and hit two. Okay. Let me put this back to zero. There we go. All right. Hope you found this informative and it helps you enter the correct answers into Delta Math. Thanks. Have a great day.